So we showed you a bunch of rules uh, about how you can simplify Boolean logic expressions. And again, the motivation for that is that we want to get the simplest expression we can so that we can get the simplest circuit we can, so that we can build it cheapest and smallest as we are going to want to do. And this will apply when we're actually building out full computer systems later on in this program. So, <clears throat> uh, we saw the identity, we saw the um, one zero, we saw uh, in, um, we didn't see idempotent yet, that's a new one. Uh, we saw commutative and distributive, commutative and distributive and associative. So all of those sort of common rules for um, regular traditional logic. Uh, there are a couple new ones that I want to show you that are special for binary logic uh, that don't apply in traditional logic. Uh, one of them is called idempotent. Idempotent uh, simply means that if you operate on a function that you get, or you operate on a value, you get that value back again. And that means x or x equals x, x and x equals x. And again, we can prove these later on if you want to. Uh, it's worth looking at this and going through the techniques and proving these things to yourself. Uh, but this is a special one for, for binary because, of course, this is not the case uh, for traditional algebra. For traditional algebra, x plus x is 2x, and x times x is x squared. And we don't have uh, powers in Boolean logic. Uh, we don't have multiplical, multiplicatives. We don't have 2x. We don't have anything except 0 and 1. That's all we've got. So that's an interesting result. So idempotent is one. And then the other one, uh, which we use an awful lot, is called De Morgan. This is named after a guy, as opposed to a description of the thing. De, whoops. De Morgan. De Morgan. And this relates to uh, the use of combinations of Boolean variables and inverting those variables. Uh, so one of the things we haven't looked at in these rules is uh, inverse. Uh, we have, before we get to De Morgan, uh, we'll look at uh, inverse. And what we can say is that x prime prime equals x. If you invert a value and then invert it again, you get the original value back again. And this is intuitive, it makes sense, <coughs> but it's worth noting <coughs> because we'll use that later as well. So De Morgan looks at inverting uh, terms, combinations of variables. So if we have a, b, and then we invert them together, this looks like this. Again, this is this gate that we saw, and this is NAND. Okay, A, B, and then that together. If you look at the logic for NAND, you can prove and work out the fact that it is in fact similar to, and it works exactly the same as, logic for, or, as long as you invert both of the inputs. Now we can invert the inputs just like that. Uh, this is not NOR. This is OR with the inputs inverted. Now again, we can prove these things if you want to. We can look at how uh, this works. We can draw out the logic table. We can do these together. In fact, for this one, because it's a little bit counterintuitive and it's very important, I think we'll actually do that. So here's A, B, and here's A, B, NAND, and then here's A, NOT, OR, B, NOT. And let's look at these two different functions proves that they are the same and therefore simplifiable. So again, A, B, these are the uh, four possibilities for the inputs A and B. And then here, this is AND inverted. So we can do this in two steps if you want. Uh, we can do AND and then invert it. So if we do AND, AND is true only if both inputs are true, like that. And then we invert it. So it's true if any of the inputs is false. Now that should be your first hint to maybe relating to OR. Because remember, OR is true if any of the inputs are true. NAND is true if any of the inputs are false. So let's do this one here. Let's do A0, B0, and then OR them together. So A0, we just flip A. B naught, we flip B, and then we OR them together. Now, OR is going to be true if any of the inputs are true. So this is true, this is true. Did I do that wrong? I did. Look at that. That's not B prime, that's B. There. We're in 
converting B. And then this one is going to be OR those two together. If any of the inputs are 1, the output is 1. That's what OR does. And lo and behold, those are true. So what that means is you can get to NOR in two different ways. You can get to NOR by inverting the inputs and then flipping them. Sorry, this is NAND. You can invert the inputs and then flip. Or you can get to NAND by ANDing and then flipping. Right? So here, <clears throat> if we invert the inputs and then we say that the, it's true if any of the inputs are true, it's exactly the same as saying it's true if any of the inputs are, or it's false if any of the inputs are false and then flip those to say it's true if any of the inputs are false. So NAND says it's true if any of the inputs is false, or with the inversions says it's false only if both the inputs are false. And that's the same thing. We're saying the same thing. So NAND is equal to or with the inputs being inverted. And just like everything else in binary, this has a dual, which is to say that A or B is the same as A, uh, A inverted and B inverted together. Now this is really important because what this allows you to do is take inversions from sort of the right hand side of a, of a function or a, an expression, a circuit, and populate them down to the left hand side. Breaking apart these combined terms, because this inversion happens after this OR, which means it is tied into this OR. Here, they're completely separate. We can manipulate them in different ways. So De Morgan is going to be very useful uh, in this kind of thing as well. So that's the entire list of um, functional identities that we can use to simplify functions. So if we say, um, you know, commutative, distributive, associative, De Morgan, um, idempotent, absorption, inverse, identity, ones and zeros, those are the different things that we can use to take an expression and make it simpler.